Hello world, welcome back to another edition of New Egg TV. I'm Eric, your host, and today we're gonna to take a look at one of AMD's professional series of graphics cards. These graphics cards are geared for CAD and CAE type work, and they're really dedicated for the professional who uses these cards to build things, design things, and that type of environment. Today, we're gonna to be looking at the Fire Pro W7000. This is one of their mid-level cards, has some interesting features, so let's jump in, take a look at what comes inside the box and what the features are on this new card from AMD. All right, folks, so now we'll take a look at the box and some of the features. Now, this card features four gigabytes of GDDR5 memory, has a 154 gigabyte memory bandwidth and a 256 bit memory interface. The card also has a maximum resolution of 4096 by 2160 via the DisplayPort 1.2 technology. The card also features DirectX 11.1 .1 support, OpenGL 4.2 and OpenCL 1.2 and Shader Model 5.0. The card also works with all versions of Windows and Linux. Now we'll flip the card around to the side. You guys can see right off the bat, they just show some of the stuff that comes inside the box right there. You guys can see the four standard display ports right there. Also the stereoscopic three pin mini pin. Spin that around, you can also see the three year warranty, not too much to there. We'll flip around the box. Now, here's some of the important stuff about the card right here. Says, as a professional working with advanced visualization, complex models, and large data sets, you need a graphics solution that is fast, powerful, and reliable. The AMD Fire Pro 7000 meets these needs, making it ideally suited for professionals who work with visual effects, broadcast graphics, digital signage, and more. You can see down here, they're just talking about some of the facts about the card. Unmatched workstation performance in CAD and m &E applications. 2.43 teraflops of single precision, 152 gigaflops of double precision performance lot of precision there and a lot of performance. You can see it's based on 28 nanometer architecture, supports iFinity, just some other stuff about the card right here, features the PowerTune and AMD Zero Core. All right, so now let's go ahead and remove it from the package. A box inside of a box, boxception once again. Nice little cardboard box there. Flip it around right here so you guys folks can see it. Let's go ahead and open it up. You can see it comes all nice and completely packaged in there so the car doesn't get damaged. We'll start off right off the bat. We see we have the quick user's guide. Always helpful and handy. Some lovely foam packaging. Now in this one, we see a little bit more accessories than I've seen in some of the other ones. First of all, the stereoscopic bracket on some of the higher end cards is actually located on the card itself. With this one, you get a bracket which plugs into the card and then still gives you that same connectivity. So we'll go ahead and set that down. Then we have two DisplayPoint 1.2 to DVI. These are also active. We'll go ahead and set those down. Then last but not least, we have the Crossfire cable. Go ahead and set that down. And then we'll get to the card itself. Now, a lot of the cards in the Fire GL and the Fire Pro are cards that take up two slots. This is actually a single slot card. You guys can see that here. It's very, very thin. You can see that Fire Pro Graphics W7000. You can see this card is actually very thin. We see PCI 3.0 connectivity. Now, right here on the card, this is a ribbon connection. Now what this does, this allows you to hook up multiple cards within the system using a cable system instead of the Crossfire connection. And you can also hook this card up to different computers. So say that you had computers sitting in a row via the cable, you could hook those cables up to this and run this card via another computer system. Pretty cool stuff, I think. Then in the back, we see we have four of the standard DisplayPort connectors right there. Like we said earlier, this card supports 4K. Right here also in the card, we can get a zoom in real quick here. This is where this particular piece right here will plug into. You'll go ahead and just plug that piece into right there and that's how you get the stereoscopic three pin connection. So you guys can see the top of the card. You can see some of the cooling solution through there. And now we'll take a look at the back of the card. Now, unlike some of the other Fire Pro cards that I've taken a look at, this one does not have a back shroud, so you can see all the electronics are actually exposed and everything. And then right here, you can see the nomenclature of the card. 
Okay, folks, thanks for watching our unboxing and first look of the new AMD Fire Pro W7000 video card. Hope you guys like this video. If so, make sure you hit that like button. Let us know you appreciate our efforts here on Newegg TV. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you do so so you never miss out on any of the action.